guys welcome back to my channel i have another grocery haul and meal plan for you let me tell you what my meal plan is first um for breakfast i'm gonna do oatmeal some omelets and a mug which i'll be meal prepping lunches will be leftovers i'm also going to do a chicken philly cheesesteak bowl and then some buffalo chicken burgers uh, i will be filming both of those i'll be doing italian pasta salad with those chicken burgers for dinner i'm going to do a vegetarian chili a sheet pan chicken parmesan and some spicy Asian chicken uh, with a sesame cabbage slaw and green beans. And then for snacks, I'm going to do yogurt with fruit. And then I'm going to make some bagel bites. And then I'll just be doing some veggies with some ranch dip. We'll start over here at the produce. So I have some broccoli here that I'll be using for the veggies and dip. And then also for the pasta salad. Same with the cauliflower and then the broccoli and cauliflower mix bananas. I got a couple salad kits just to go with dinners. I got the Caesar chopped salad and the buffalo ranch. The coleslaw will go with that um, Asian slaw I'll be making with that chicken. Cilantro to go with a few of the recipes. Uh, all the bell peppers, one will be, some of them will be with the um, pasta salad with the veggies and then a couple other recipes will go with that, um, the chili and whatnot. Green beans to go on the side of that chicken sugar snap peas for um, snacking on. The mushrooms will go in the Philly cheesesteak bowls. Onions for salads and various recipes. Cucumbers for snacking. And I'm gonna put the tomatoes also in those veggie bowls. And then also in the pasta salad. Spinach for the pasta salad and for the chili. Microgreens just to throw on sandwiches and salads. And then apples. So that is all of the produce. I needed some more coconut aminos. This will be for that Asian sticky chicken. I've made that before. I will link the recipe down below. I needed some more powdered peanut butter. I have a little bit left, but I like to use this on rice cakes, which I did pick up some of those. And also to go with like peanut butter or banana toast, that kind of thing. I did not need the no sugar ketchup, but Grocery Outlet had this for 99 cents. So I thought I would pick that up. Same with the sugar-free sweet chili dipping sauce. I've never had this one before. I love sweet chili sauce, but they had this at Grocery Outlet for like $1.49. I needed the Frank's Red Hot Sauce for the buffalo burgers. Uh, light Italian dressing, Olive Garden Light Italian. This is going to be for that pasta salad. Whipped cream cheese is going to be for the bagel bites. The whipped cream cheese is a little bit less in calories if you cannot find the um, reduced calorie one. Uh, the gorgonzola cheese crumbles, again, these are a little bit lower calorie than blue cheese, so I've got these for those blue cheese um, for the buffalo burgers. Um, the bagel bites will be made out of two ingredient dough, so I needed some Fai E yogurt, plus I'll have this for snacking with berries. Uh, the bacon bits will be for those egg scrambles on a mug. And they have these organic veggie straws at Grocery Outlet, so I just thought I'd pick those up if I'd like to have those for a snack. Same with these Pizzelles. You can have five of these for only like 120 calories, so these are a really good um, snack to have. I got the cappuccino flavor, so I thought those would be a nice sweet treat in case I wanted something sweet after dinner. I also picked up some yogurt so I could just grab and go, so I have the toasted coconut vanilla and two peach. They had the Sponza... Um, chickpea pasta at grocery outlet for $1.99 so I picked that up this is a I really like this kind of corkscrew pasta I don't know what I'm going to do with this but I'm just having to throw into the pantry beef broth for those chili feast um, cheesesteak bowls um, some mozzarella cheese sticks so these are for snacking plus I'm going to cut some of this up to put in that pasta salad um, one of my subscribers recommended these Fairlife Nutrition Protein shakes, uh, they are 150 calories, 30 grams of protein, and she said the chocolate was really good, so I picked these up to try those. They had this coffee at Grocery Outlet for only $1.99, so I thought I'd pick it up. This is from the Ethical Bean Coffee Company, um, and this is the medium dark roast. For that vegetarian chili, I needed some dark red kidney beans, some chipotle peppers, pinto beans, and some fire roasted diced tomatoes. The ranch dip is for a couple of different things. I'll be using it for the ranch dip and then also I needed it for one other recipe. The corn will be going in that vegetarian chili as will the ankle cut carrots. And I picked up some berries at grocery outlet. I'm gonna have these 
with that yogurt. The good things, I'm gonna have these ones with that chili. You can have 100, um, 38 of these for 120 calories. For the um, chicken, that I have the Asian chicken I have one night, I'm gonna have some brown rice with that. Uh, eggs for breakfast. For that chicken parm, I'm going to use these chicken cutlets so I can have like one day that it's a really easy day um, for dinner. So I'll be using these. Um, for that, I already have the mozzarella cheese and the marinara sauce. I picked up two things of the ground chicken. One will be for the buffalo burgers and the other one for the Philly cheesesteak burgers or bowls. Egg whites, I'm gonna add some egg whites in with those egg scrambles. I'll be doing two eggs and the egg whites. Um, that way you can get a lot more protein. So stay tuned for that. You'll see that in meal prep. These are the rice cakes I picked up, um, the caramel corn. So I will have some um, like that powdered peanut butter on top of those. And then I did pick up some of the 100 calorie um, English muffins to have with my egg scrambles in the morning. And that is everything. I will have several recipes linked down below in the description box. So check that out and stay tuned for the next video, which will be meal prep. Bye guys.